All right, it is October, uh, my little Halloweeners. Um, so last year, uh, I was introduced to the Mountain Dew mystery flavor, um, and uh, I did it as one of the early nutrition videos. I think it was actually the first soda one, or pop, depending on where you're fucking from. Uh, but um, last year's version, I really, really liked. It was a, uh, it, to me, it tasted like Sour Patch Kids, um, and I liked it enough that the dollar store near my old apartment, uh, at the end of, uh, October, like they had a couple left and I grabbed every one that they had and kept them in my fridge. Um, you know, so it's back this year, uh, Mountain Dew mystery flavor voodoo number five. Um, it's got the little five on there. I do. I think it's funny though. It's 270 calories. It's made of all these like crazy chemicals and shit. And it's got a little grim reaper on the thing, so it's like, well, it's, you know, truth in advertising. Um, yeah, so last year's I really, really liked, uh, and um, I've read a couple different things about this year, so let's try this one. Okay, it's still got a berry kind of smell. Kind of tastes like uh, like Sour Patch Kids, or uh, not Sour Patch Kids, um, Airheads. I was like, wait, what's that thing called? Uh, those like little like sugary flat taffy things. I guess they're not taffy. Um, I don't know what they are. They're they're sugar. Um, this is definitely more of a muted flavor than last year's. Last year's with that Sour Patch Kids had a pop, and the aftertaste was was solid. This one, um, it's got that first initial pop, but then it becomes bland. There's no secondary flavor, and that's why I was saying it's kind of like the Airheads, because, you know, once you get that first bite of it, then you're chewing this, like, I don't even know how to, can, I don't even know what the consistency of it would be. Um, but we have them at the movie theater. Um, all right, this is fine. Uh, I'll definitely finish the rest of this bottle. But it, again, like I said, it's muted. It doesn't, it doesn't have that same, uh, you know, get up and go as the, as the one from last year. Um, and then I didn't try the one before that, so I don't know. So I've only tried now four and five, and four is my favorite. Uh, just like Star Trek movies. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm interested to see these every year, but the, yeah, it definitely has an Airheads taste to it. Um, tell me what you thought uh, if you tried it so far. I know that I've got uh, Professor Macabro doing these as well when he finds the sodas. Um, um, so I'm interested to see if he comes apart in this one, uh, what he thought of it. There was also a Fanta mystery flavor one, but it was zero sugar, and I already know I'm not going to like that one. So because um, I need all the I need all the harmful chemicals in my body at once, um, you know. But yeah, let me know uh, what you guys thought of this one. If there's any other Halloween type stuff that I should be trying, um, you know, years ago Burger King did like that that burger that was like a black bun and uh, it made your poop green. So you know, it's that kind of fun stuff we could do. It's it's almost Halloween, you know. It's my birthday month. I'll be I'll be 42 years old, and uh, if I keep drinking this kind of shit, I might not make it to 45. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, Mountain Dew Voodoo number five, mystery flavor 2023. That's a fucking mouthful. Um, uh, yeah, it, it tastes like airheads. Um, tastes like uh, the the blue raspberry airheads. Whereas last year's ones were more of like a, a Sour Patch Kids. I, I yeah. I want to see if they can. If Mountain Dew, will you just bring back last year's for me, please? I'm not a very well known YouTuber. Um, I, I live in a uh, <laughs> I live in a little apartment in Philadelphia with my cat, but the twelve thousand people who subscribe to my channel, at least fifty of them will go, "Hey, help that guy out," and Mountain Dew will go, "What?" Uh, all right, so that's it for this one um, for nutrition. Um, Mountain Dew Voodoo Number Five, Mambo Number Five. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm just dragging this on now because it, I, it was def I'm a little disappointed. I expected this to be like the last one where I was like, oh my God, this is the nectar of the gods. Hook it to my fucking veins. This one's, it's fine. I like the, I like the, the packaging more of this year, but, uh, I'm not a huge airheads guy. Um, despite some of my dating track record, but, uh, that's it. Have a good one. <laughs>